about 30 minutes into the rally or so, there was uh, um, a bit of a commotion happening behind um, the speaker, behind um, uh, Mr. Trump. He kept speaking a little bit, but um, there was a silent protest. Rose Hamid, a 56-year-old flight attendant from Charlotte, was standing silently, um, just, uh, and the people around her were watching to see exactly what was happening, as you can see from this video here, and suddenly a police officer escorted her out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Give Me Five. On Friday, I hope you were watching the Steve Malzberg Show. We brought you live coverage of Donald Trump in Rock Hill, South Carolina. He gave a great speech, and there was a disruption, which at the time we didn't know. It was this woman, this woman standing there in a Muslim, you know, in a, in a headscarf, and she had a yellow star on her that said Muslim, like the Nazis did to the Jews. And I don't know, the crowd became a little disruptive, and she was escorted out. Watch. But what I was most shocked by, and she was making a statement, she uh, came to this uh, rally to show Trump supporters what a Muslim actually looked like, and she was just like them, and she's a, you know, um, a proud American as well. But when she was escorted out and walked up the steps, what I was struck by was how this crowd treated her. You can see it from the video there. Um, uh, someone uh, sort of uh, did a hands-down thing to her. Other people um, were screaming, and all the way across the hall where I was standing, some people were saying some very um, not nice things that I won't repeat here, Don. So that's what I was struck by, how the crowd reacts when something like this happens. Of course, this has all been inflamed uh, by the uh, rhetoric that uh, um, has been going on for the last couple months or so on the campaign trail. I just watched her being walked up the stairs. I didn't see anybody even looking at her. I didn't even see anybody looking at her. But notice he doesn't mention she had a star mocking what the Nazis did to the Jews. That doesn't enter into it. Then she was on CNN. My purpose for going there, is, um, as was mentioned, was that I, I wanted, I have this sincere belief that if people get to know each other one-on-one, -on -one, that they'll stop being afraid of each other, and we'll be able to get rid of all this hate in the world, literally. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really my goal, was to let people see that Muslims are not that scary. Oh, is that your goal? Again, Don Lemon's not going to mention the fact that she's wearing this blatant, yellow, bright star as if she were a Jew in Nazi Germany. My God! I would expect she would be booed and heckled for that. Not because she's a Muslim, but because of what she's doing, what she's implying, what she's claiming. But I guess Don Lemon just thinks it's decorative, like it's a pin. Here's more. What happened when, when the crowd got this like hateful crowd mentality um, as I was being escorted, they, it, was, it was really quite telling of, and, and a vivid example of what happens when you start using this hateful rhetoric and how it can incite a crowd where moments ago were very kind to me. Actually, one woman reached over and shook my hand and said, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Really? I didn't even, I didn't even see the crowd react. The hateful venom, huh? And then Don Lemon has this gem. You said that you wanted to show people at the rally that, you know, Muslims are just like you. But I, I, some people would say, why would you even go and put yourself in that position, Rose, to be around those people? because I don't want to think of them as those people. Those people. Hey, Don. Hey, Don, do you see the yellow star she's wearing? Why don't you ask her what, what she's trying to prove or say by wearing that? Do you even know what it means? This is like, this is like uh, The Onion or something I'm watching, like a comedy show. Here's one more. When you get that hateful rhetoric going is what incites people. I, I never felt truly threatened. I was not afraid of these people because I think, I truly believe that the decent people would have stood up and not permitted that. That's yeah. that's my that's my belief. I believe. So that what most were they saying the to you? Are decent. So because according to right some thing. of the reporting, they said they were like booing guy, you and shouting you to get out. And they, I mean, did one person really say you have a bomb? You have a bomb. Yeah, one guy was saying, "Get out! Do you have a bomb? Do you have a bomb?" And I said, "No. Do you have a bomb?" The only reason anybody paid attention to her was because she had the vicious, vile, disgusting, vulgar, yellow star mocking the Jews in Germany, implying that Donald Trump is Hitler. Grow up and learn something, Don. Thanks for watching.